Well, the plight of a jailed church leader in Nicaragua continues to gain attention on Capitol Hill. Bishop Rolando Alvarez has been under arrest since 2022, charged with treason by President Daniel Ortega. The communist government says the bishop is safe and healthy. Many, however, have their doubts. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has been following this story for us and joins us now with the very latest. Eric. Good evening, Tracy. Yes, the communist regime recently posted a picture, and pictures, that is, of Bishop Rolando Alvarez sitting at a table, even having dinner with his family uh, when he's behind bars, showing that he's alive. You know, the communist regime actually even says that he is receiving preferential treatment. But Catholic Congressman Chris Smith of New Jersey and several others up here on Capitol Hill say it is all a big lie. This is an urgent appeal to Ortega to release and let Bishop Alvarez go. Congressman Chris Smith chaired a global human rights hearing focused on the imprisonment of Bishop Rolando Alvarez, who's been sentenced to 26 years. He's a walking saint. He bears no malice. Uh, he stands for principle and he's immovable, but he has no malice towards Ortega or his wife. Uh, I mean, he, he is living the gospel of loving even those uh, who persecute. During the hearing, Catholic priests who served under the bishop gave emotional testimony of their own time behind bars. They blackmailed me and threatened the lives of my relatives because they wanted me to declare that the bishop was a member of an organization that wanted to promote a coup d'etat against Daniel Ortega and that he received money from the U.S. government and the European Union. Juan Chamorro sat in a Nicaraguan prison cell for 20 months for simply running against Ortega in a presidential election. When he was released, he was banned from returning to the country. Now in the U.S., he tells me the bishop is living in horrific conditions at La Modelo prison. But La Modelo was built in the 60s. Uh, he is under uh, solitary confinement in a very narrow place. Uh, they call it the little hell. He adds the pictures of the bishop enjoying food with family in an earlier video showing a TV and a sofa are from a cell that doesn't exist. That's manipulation and that's a cruel treatment of uh, Monsignor Alvarez. Uh, he looked very frail, very weak, uh, thin, and we are really worried and concerned uh, for his health. The U.S. Bishops' Conference has been outspoken since the arrest of Bishop Alvarez, stating, quote, the consensus from the international community is clear. The continued incarceration of Bishop Alvarez is unjust and must end as soon as possible. Congressman Smith says that he's even written President Ortega to get permission to be able to visit Bishop Alvarez, but those requests have fallen on deaf ears. He is calling on the Biden administration to impose tougher sanctions and even remove trade agreements. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.